hello, I am Corvette Hop. Today I'm going to show you how to use this Innovate LM2 air fuel mixture meter. We're going to adjust the air fuel mixture at idle speed. Then we're going to turn around and drive the car a little bit and make some more adjustments. We're going to try our best to get it to that perfect ratio of 14.7. With that, keep those cars on the road. This is what they call the Innovate LM2 digital air fuel ratio meter. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to show you real quickly how to connect everything. This, of course, is the power source. In the meter, there's really only one place that this can connect to, and that is right here in the corner. Then we have the connector that goes to the sensor, and that connects right here on the bottom. Right there. And then the sensor itself. This cable connects to the O2 sensor. And once the O2 sensor is connected, you connect it to the exhaust hold-in bracket. And I'll show you how I connect this to the bottom of the exhaust. Now I'll go ahead and connect the LM2 sensor to the vehicle exhaust. This cable, of course, is connected to the LM2 meter cable. Now I'll go ahead and provide power to the LM2 meter through the cigarette lighter inlet. Once the meter has power through the cigarette lighter, it'll need to warm up a little bit. Once it does, you'll start to get an air-fuel mixture reading. This is what the LM2 meter looks like when everything is connected. Keep in mind, the engine needs to be warm. Go ahead and remove the air breather so that we can get it to the carburetor and make some adjustments. These are the two adjustment screws on the carburetor. You may have noticed that I have the two adjustment screws marked with white touch-up paint. Now that is so when I turn one screw, I know how much to turn the other. In other words, I'm adjusting both screws evenly. Now let me go ahead and get a closer view of the air fuel adjustment screws. And here's the white paint right here. It's paint there and paint there. And I have the same on the other side. Of course, you can't see that. Anyway, when I turn one, I turn the other one of equal amount so that they're evenly adjusted. Now everything is up and running. Let's go ahead and make some adjustments. Of course, for adjustments, I'm just turning the air fuel mixture screws in and out, making the adjustments as required. Remember our goal is around 14.7. We'll try to get as close as we can, and then we'll go ahead and take it for a little drive and do some more adjustments. Just keep making adjustments on those air fuel mixture screws until you get it to the desired rate that you would like to get it at. And now we'll go ahead and take it for a drive and see how the meter is reading as we're driving at cruise speeds. Notice how you can see the O2 sensor extending out of the exhaust. Along with that, of course, are the wires to the LM2 meter that are in the cockpit area of the Corvette. You see, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's around 14, 5. Perfect is 14.7. Uh,
We're going to go ahead and pull into this parking lot and make some minor adjustments and then off we go again. Now I'm going to go ahead and adjust the two fuel air mixture screws just slightly and see how that affects the meter as we continue to drive. There we go. After the final adjustments, we get in the high 13s and low 14s on the meter. With that, it looks like our work is done here. Very good adjustments. And thanks for watching. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. With that, keep those cars on the road.